Um, in the words of my man, Buddy Ace, when you've done all that you can do, it's time to move on. Hey, I don't profess to be a, 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 a relationship therapist. A lot of stuff that I give y'all comes from experience, you know what I'm saying? So I just thought I'd share some of my expertise because I didn't been there, done that. Or I have spoken to individuals who have gone through those particular, or this particular situation for one that I'm going to tell you about uh, when, when you know relationships over telltale signs, but a lot of people tend to ignore it. For those who are unaware, my name is Anthony, and I am the uh, host of Third Eye Visions, as you know. So make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, make sure to like, share, and follow, and tell a friend, all that good stuff. Uh, most of all, like. <clears throat> How do you know when your relationship is over? There are telltale signs. And... Um, a lot of individuals tend to ignore it because they want to try to keep their relationship going. After they've discussed what they don't like, after they've discussed things that are affecting their relationship, they tend to still want to try to work it out. I uh, have been speaking with um, some friends of mine over the weekend, and I'm going to uh, you know, keep their name out of this discussion, but... They have been going through some situations and they've come to me and I've been sort of the mediator and uh, they've been having problems in their relationship. And one of the individuals w was giving me some um, insight as to things that are going on in the relationship that they were very unhappy with. And uh, I had I'd given her some advice in terms of what she, she should do. And on the other hand, uh, well, this person, I'll call her uh, A. She was ready, or she is ready, or she had been, I don't know what the situation is now, been ready to uh, make moves, to move on, and sort of try to, uh, you know, do the things that she wants to do, and hopefully, you know, if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Now, uh, girl B, or person B, <laughs> she was... Uh, been on trying to make the relationship work. Ignoring the telltale signs, ignoring what the uh, person or person A was telling her. And I don't think I, that she was basically hearing her. Um, she was basically more so trying to make the situation work regardless. And, and I was telling person A that once you've been together, they have been they've been together for some time. Once you've been together for some time and you talk talk it out, and, and the person basically should already know after you've discussed what you know what to be, what to expect in a relationship, what she or he wants, and what have you. And if you don't do those things, then that creates a problem in terms of uh, them trying to move forward. But once it's brought to the to the light, then that's when that person person B wants to try to, to make amends, wants to, you know, wants to uh, work on relationship when they've had ample, ample enough time in, in order to make the relationship work. I was basically saying no matter what, because of the fact that you put everything on the line, you've let that person know how they feel. It's basically hard to kind of like put things in a, in a different perspective and say, okay, uh, regardless of what I've said about the relationship, regardless of what I've said that you're not doing, you know, I'm just going to put that aside and try to make it work. I'm of the uh, belief that once it's, once you've stated what you don't like in a relationship, has you know, once you put that in the air, it's over with because people try to say, well, um, let's, let's forget about things and, and not really focus on that. But that's just like in, in, a, in, a, uh, in a, a jury situation. If a, a person says something and, and I guess the, the judge or the prosecutor says, or well, most of the, the judge as I deviate, but you'll see where I'm, where I'm going, says strike this from the from the jury. They've already heard what has been said, so it's hard for them to put that out of their mind. So getting back to with, with the relationship, if you said that, you know, you don't clean up or you, you know, you're, you're not tidy or you don't take my feelings uh, seriously, Okay, that how is it? How is it that you're supposed to just ignore that and just say we're just gonna move on and work on it? No, unless that person has that individual um, 
uh, you know, at, at, at heart and, and, and wants to really maybe work on it, then that's the only way it's going to work out. Because once you've told me that, hey, I, Anthony, I don't like the fact that you don't care about my feelings. I don't like the fact that you are not focusing on, you know, trying to make your relationship work by, by let's say, taking me out or you're not doing what I stated in the beginning of the relationship. And then I said, okay, well, I'm gonna try this time. No, I don't, I don't, I, I just don't think that it's gonna work. Um, I've had friends that have, have had this happen to them and all they do is bring up the past. And it's really hard not to bring up the past because we are humans. We are humans and we have a tendency to uh, not forget. And, and it's hard just to, you know, put, you know, that in a, in, a, in a compartment and just let that, you know, stay over there. It's not because you're gonna always think about it. So basically, you know, signs, if you understand a relationship and you go into it and you do what you're supposed to do, then there's nine, nine, nine out of 10 uh, chances that this gonna work. But if you're trying to force feed a relationship when you're seeing that this person's not receptive, uh, sexually, this person not receptive to you um, in any other way, then there is a, 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 a chance that the relationship may be over, over. I mean, can you exist as friends? In most cases, you can. I've, I've had uh, in, individuals who I, whom I dated and we are still friends today. So, I mean, it just depends on how mature you are going into a relationship and afterwards, you know. You know, you have to give it some time, but stop trying, I mean, to my friends that I that I've spoken with, stop trying to force feed a relationship. If it's not going to work, it's not going to work because all it's going to do is create a great great deal of um, hatred and stuff at some point because you're trying too hard. That person won't ever forget what you've done if you've done some things in a relationship or if you haven't done anything in a relationship, and just move on. And 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 that way, you know, it won't become toxic. It won't be a, a situation where you you are there for the sake of X Y Z. And we'll have and and we'll I'll speak on that in, in another uh, uh, discussion. How individuals try to stay together for uh, this purpose and that intense for the all intense purposes is the wrong thing to do. So signs that a uh, relationship is over is when they stop doing what they um, used to do. Or when they, when you, when they supposed to be doing the things that they were supposed to be doing, and all of a sudden, after you've had the discussion, then they want to do the things that that you know you spoke on prior to getting into a relationship. No, you should already know, and and should, you should do your your damnness if you are going into the relationship to make the thing work, to 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 understand that partner, to know what she wants. I mean, I'm not saying to be the perfect person because no one is perfect, but at least. Pay attention. That's the main thing. Pay attention to your partner. Understand what she wants or he wants, and try to uh, uh, accommodate. But when when it's over, I guarantee you, it's over. No need to try to, you know, to wish. No need to try to accept your responsibilities because you have a, a opportunity to do what needs to be done within a relationship. And again, stop trying to force feed. And uh, in the words of my man. Buddy Ace, when you've done all that you can do, it's time to move on. Ah!